welcome to Berlin. <laughs> Right then everyone, as you've probably seen, we are here in Berlin. What an amazing city, uh, steeped in history, culture, and so Callum thinks the street food scene is on fire. Um, let's go and find out. First food up, curry burst. Um, fairly simple, Callum, do you want to show everyone? So this is, this is sausage with various curry powders on it. And sauce, is that right, Callum? Yeah. And Ketchup chips. and mayo mix, chips. Yeah, you can choose. Sauces are right here. Oh. Pump it yourself. What would you have? Mayo and ketchup, probably. Mayo and ketchup. You can have mustard if you want. This is a really interesting place so far. A lot of different cultures. Is that right, Callum? A lot of different yeah, yeah, street food scene about it. It's rocking, so we're at the wall as well as you've just seen. So it's kind of a nice place to start our journey. And let's just see how this goes, but let's watch him make this. Wow, first review done, curry burst. Uh, chili powder, curry, cu curry? curry powder, Worcestershire sauce, tomato ketchup, um, resulting in a yummy, like, flavor experience, iconic. I mean, never had it before, super hard to score it, but it was a lot of fun, good value at seven, seven euros as well. Definitely get cheaper as well. Can you? Yeah. Have we paid a premium because we're at the wall? Yeah, we're at the wall, yeah. <laughs> Poor, poorest prices. <laughs> You've been trapped. Right, maybe we'll do another curry burst on a back street, a little independent, and see how it stacks up with this. But I would score it 7.3. Yeah. Tasty, good sausage. Kebab time now. Kebab time. Let's do it. Is that what we can do next? Yeah. The um, German Mackies look good as well. <laughs> do people want to see that? You just can't take the man away from Mackies. I like, you know, it's, it's nice to see how Mackies shapes up in other countries. Kind of, the menu's, the, you know the menu. When you go to another country, it's different. I saw a chicken Big Mac in Dubai once and it blew my fucking socks off. Honestly, bro, it did. Well, they got spiral fries here. Spiral fries? Yep. Let's go. So, we just got out of the Uber. It's chucking it down now. And we've come. I thought we'd come to like a. We're going to down. I thought we were coming to a, uh, a big shop. This is the buttocks, look at this place. He said that um, there's a queue here down the road. Well, this is a Tuesday. Tuesday at one o'clock. I don't think I've ever been this excited. Obviously, Donna is, well, apparently comes from Berlin. And this is the number one, Mustafa's, the number one kebab shop in Berlin. The bread looks stiff, looks toasted, it's crunchy, and they've got everything in there. Aubergine, potatoes, salad, feta on top, the guy carving it, I'm sure you've seen clips of it, was like a swordsman. It was delicate, thin slices that fell off into the veg at the bottom. F me, this is gonna be good. Can we just say, Matt has lost his mind. He's, <laughs> he's in shock. <laughs> he can't believe it. Let's go. 
sausage and burger together. Ah, what's that? You have the sausage burger. Okay. Try it. So, I can't understand what's going on now. Yeah. I've got a burger cut up into little and sausage. Oh, yeah. Can't have a look. So, a little recap on uh, the donut from Mustafa's. It was a 10 out of 10. And actually, flavour wise, it, was, it should have been my first 20 out of 10. Like, in my head, I don't think a kebab. I've given out a few high nines, but uh, nothing's come close to, to me really wanting to give a 10. That was utterly incredible on so many levels. Uh, the meat had like a spiciness to it. The bread was electric, it had a little bit of cheese on top. He was cutting the meat into the veg. Uh, no, I want to say veg, I mean like aubergine, potato. And it all had that flavour in it from the, the donna was running down on top. We waited 45 minutes. They didn't give a fuck about the queue. Loved it. It's just, it just iconic. Berlin donna was built up in my mind and that just nailed it. And I would have definitely would have said if it hadn't, that smashed it out of the park. Smashed it out of the park. Worth coming just for that one bit of food. Bosh. Now it's five minutes later. Five minutes later, now we're doing another review. Turns out we, uh, we're at Curry 36, Thanks. the number one curry versed uh, establishment. Just kidding, without Apparently. Apparently, we'll find out. <laughs> oi, oi. Let me have a quick look. So I did a classic there, ordered what the guy in front of me had. No chips. So that's a chopped up burger and the sausage with the curry and the ketchup. And I've got a bread roll with it. Why not? Review time. <laughs> so, <laughs> just ordered an Uber XL, yeah? Yeah, this is an XL. So it turns out all, all, we've, all we've actually got <laughs> is a little bit more headroom. Because we've no, got no extra leg room. Cost me three more euros. Because it's three more euros. <laughs> We're gonna run into financial difficulty if we don't <laughs> let's sort this out. Yeah. So we're off to Burgermeister oh, now. Oh. Also the, the taxi driver's an ex rally driver by looking at. We're off to Burgermeister now uh, to have a tasty burger is highly recommended. We've done three reviews so far, two curry versed, and that was the best one in the city. It was good, tasty, but pretty like pretty low rent food to be honest. It's just a cheap snack. It's just a cheap, it? it's cheap snack, you know. It's not going to win no awards, let's face it, but yeah, it's good, tasty, like it. What about the Donner though? Oh, the Donner, oh. just stop talking about the Donner, I have a, the, the tax driver trying to change the gear of my penis. Oh my <laughs> god, stop. Mine shaft. <laughs> wow. So we just did a burger review at a Burgermeister. Very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Kind of funny that the burger, I've had some of the best burgers that the UK's had to offer. How did that compete with them? It was good, but it's probably not on the elite level for me, my personal opinion. However, star of the show was the cheesecake blueberry cookie. It was like, it was like a hybrid of a cookie cheesecake scone. Incredible, it was the best. The Best thing I, in fact, I challenge anyone to have, find me a better cookie than that. You can load these cookies up with caramel, toffee, and they're too sweet. You can only have a little bit of it. That had like a, a sweet and savory cheesecake, salty. The blueberries had this injection of, oh, stop, please. Now, last one, it's a hotel just over there. What? So, we did a uh, chicken kebab earlier. Now, We've got a traditional donna, like a proper kebab, so what are you going to do about it?
So, sec- do- oh, sorry. We're doing TikTok videos, by the way, guys. You haven't watched, watched or seen our TikToks, get different content that we're not putting anywhere else. Um, just experimenting with some new stuff. It's good to see it coming, coming together. Go on, Cam. Sorry, mate. So it's second kebab, different meat this time. What do you think? I think Berlin kebabs just bang different. That's what my my uh, key phrase right now. <laughs> totally different. So two kebabs, two very high scores. Big scores, mate. You've kind of lost the, your head. The first one, best one I've ever had. We've been over that. Even this one here, fairly unassuming. Not particularly. No, no big cues. I <laughs> you not. That was better than any dollar I've ever had in the UK. Just, it just, it's just different. It's tastier, it's cleaner, the way he cuts it. Well glad we've come. Well glad. Like, UK kebab game, miles behind this. This is like champion, Champions League. And we've been eating in the fucking conference. <laughs> this has made the trip for you already, hasn't it? <laughs> now, we're going to go to the supermarket, just look at some snacks, which is great for you, at Callum. You just, you just walk around pointing your camera at like dodgy crisps and funky biscuits. Okay? Happy with that? Yep. Let's go. He said look at snacks. Snacks. He means, he means buy, buy snacks. snacks. We're going to buy the snacks. This looks like that sort of that ham you just get in the UK with that f***ing smiley faces in it. Processed to, to high heaven. Probably tastes good though, yeah? That looks good. Oh look, key goods, bakery section. It's probably tasty, but don't have to look, look a mess. I've had done five reviews now, so I'm quite particular. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick, I'm just gonna bowl into any sort of snack right now. What have you found? You know, like in Audi, you get dodgy. Well, you, face ID doesn't work when you've got a chuffing mask on. Anyway, Kellogg. <laughs> <laughs> Kellogg's Schmacks. Smacks? They look Schmacks. like um, sugar puffs. First Milka. snack. And continental yogurts. Bang and all. Let's get some of them in there. Now what you got? These. It's like a berry montage. Okay. okay. The key one in there is the blackberry. Yeah? That's a brilliant berry for a yogurt. That's probably the healthiest snack I've seen you get. Listen, bruv, it's not all kebabs and burgers, but it's 95% of the time, but 5% of the time, you like a yogurt. What is it? It's, it's just like... Snack hits. I could get one of them in my bag, Jess. Loads of snacks in one Look, Oh, all in segments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banging. Oh. Crunchy peas. Oh, my God. Do you know what they call those boxes? Graze boxes. Yeah. In the barbecue, crunch graze box. They have these peas. It's like the key good of the entire thing. Wow. I thought Some, the snacks were going to be different in here. You going for something about foreign supermarkets? That's just special. It's just amazing. I don't even want another flavour. Sea salt. No thanks. These are great. These are. What's that? These ones. But people that know their biscuits will know that's an elite biscuit. Just like what Eric Banner would have. Right, snacks purchased. We're gonna go chill at the hotel for an hour, recharge our phones, etc. We have been up since 4 a.m. It's now 20 past four, and we're filming all night tonight at the Christmas market. The Berlin Christmas market is legendary. People come from all over the world. So we're gonna go there tonight, see what food they've got on offer, see some amazing Christmas stuff and get in the spirit a little bit. So first things first, gonna have a chill, we'll wind down, put our feet up and get set for another big night. Three hours later. It's nothing like a, uh, a big sausage joke, but we're packing some serious inches over there, have a look. Make me feel less of a man. My name is Angel. Here we're trying the uh, smoked sausages. Is it good? It's good, really good. We added some mayo, mustard, and ketchup, but it's delicious. You got that from this one here, yeah? Yes, from this place. Brandenburger Grill. Cooked over coals as well, see that smoke flavor to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a very smoky flavor. It's really good. Uh, you guys should come try it. We're in the Christmas markets, Berlin, world famous. Have a little look around, Callum. 
That thing there is literally calling for Megatron. Um, now, I'm not particularly hungry. I'm going to get a few Christmas snacks. As you can see, I've already had a gnash of that. Uh, you, you two have ordered this. It's deep fried dough that you can have sweet or savory, even like pizza, Nutella, uh, oils. We've gone for the salt and garlic one. We weren't even going to film this. I've just bit into that. We'll do it again. <laughs> it's caked with garlic oil and salt. It's warm, it's crunchy. It's like a hybrid between a donut and a, na and a naan bread. That's, but just Out of 10, what would you score it? That's a 9 out of 10 all day long. Oi, oi. There we go. What do you think, Jess? I didn't get any garlic. Oh, <laughs> There. Sorry, I just got dough. Ah, oh, can you do that crunch? Yeah. <laughs> Good? Mm-hmm. Anything else to say? Anything, <laughs> anything with garlic on is good, though. Oh, can you do the crunch, the crisp? So good. It's like really, it's weird. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we doing now? Going on the Walter. <laughs> That's not a Walter, is it? What's it called? Ferris wheel. Well, this is cosy. What's this too high for me already? <laughs> Callum has just brought this over with a disgusted look on his face. But kind of smiling, so I'm feeling like it's gonna be a bush tucker trial. Callum, what is it? Egg punch. Egg, sorry, egg. Punch. Egg punch. Yes. They turned eggs into a drink. Oh, I have no idea. Is it like eggnog? I think so. Like eggnog. Just give I it a try. Got a shot of in it? <laughs> it's, 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 you're not selling it to me. <laughs> it's popular. Popular with who? I don't know. <laughs> Show me these people. It's got cream in it. Makes it better. <laughs> no amount of cream can make that better. I thought you were going to have another bit then. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> no. Berlin, I love you, but not that much. Have a little snack. Right. How much food have you eaten today? It's now eight o'clock. We left at home at four a.m. I had a massive fry up in Stansted. We've been all day, full as an egg. There's always room for dessert. I think it's actually been proven that it goes into a different part of the stomach. Does it? <laughs> Don't I think so. I'm sure it does. We're going to scooter home. Back to the hotel. Hey, Matt's rapid on a scooter. I uh, don't think I've ever seen anyone slower. <laughs> I could walk faster. People were walking I nearly got, got done for speeding. <laughs> you said people were walking past me. It was very slow. There was a sonic boom in Berlin today. <laughs> I fell off my scooter. Me and Jessica gonna walk. <laughs> we'll probably still beat you there. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fastest man alive. You two are crazy. This is, this is very dangerous. I don't actually know how you can go that slow. It's like a grandma on a scooter. We are live and active. 
Who's done a review at McDonald's? I had people going, oh, why have you done McDonald's? Why not? We love McDonald's. We love Mackey's. Um, and I wanted to find out what it's like overseas. What did you reckon? Shrimp? I, yeah, shrimp was good. You can't get that anywhere like here. No. They're like the apple pie. It's not an apple pie. Blueberry pie was good. Yeah, it was really good. Um, and, the, and the big burger we had, I, I honestly believe would stand against any burger I've ever had. Like, really, really good. Big, double. <laughs> Any burger you've ever had or any Mackey's burger? <clears throat> Mackey's burger. Way better than any Mackey's. <laughs> I think it would stand against really? most burgers. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Maybe not in the elite category, but look, what a regular quarter pounder you'd have is, is a good burger. You know what you're going to get. It's just, it's just a Mackey's burger, though. That, I think, sits above what a regular Mackey's is. It was really good. I can't, I can't rate enough. Two massive patties, little caramelised onions, uh, and rosti, the same sh uh, size and shape as a patty. Really good texture, flavour, crunch. A bit too much lettuce, but we'll let that swerve. <laughs> and we had the worst McRib I've ever seen. It, the chef must have put it together from the top of a ladder. I think that's the worst McDonald's yeah, I've was, ever seen. It was worse than a Rustler's. Like <laughs> I just don't remember the McRib being like that. So now we look. One review done on day two. And straight to Mackey's. I think people want to see what international Mackey's is like compared to home, because we all go there. Three so jumpers and bikes and. Go for a whippersnap around the city? Yes. We're not going to have a plan, we're just going to go and look. Having fun? I'm slowly getting a hang of them. They're pretty scary, especially when you're on the wrong side of the road and you're not allowed on the path. Let's just, <laughs> let's just say, you've, it's a big improvement from yesterday. <laughs> So, I saw a guy on the street eating a piece of Detroit pizza. He had it all around his face. It looked like he was fucking loving it. I just put, pulled over and said, mate, where did you get that pizza from? And he pointed that, us down to here. And they've got this like underground retro. It's called Magic John's. No signs. So they've got regular pizzas, look. And Detroit pizzas. It's like, it's like big beats playing, unplussed, plastered walls, no paint, no nothing. Uh, cookers in racks, literally like pizza cookers inside, in industrial racks. What did you order? Did you get both or did you just oh, get one of each? Like, so yeah. Test out the Detroit, test out the regular, see what these guys are all about. Magic John, there you go. So, pastrami sandwich was amazing. Stunning. Rap, actually stunning and even better. That was recommended by one of you guys sat at home now. Um, the guy actually, oh, I'm gonna message you now after you've done this. So thanks, he actually brought me and said, mate, you've got to go and try this sandwich. How did people even find that? It was tucked away, wasn't it? Yeah, like really, like it was inside an uh, art gallery or something. Yeah. I don't know what it was. Some sort of, what was it, Jess? Like I think it was, it had art. Art gallery. And, yeah, like everywhere. Great. So, Loved it. The guy is serving us as well. Not that he's ever going to see this, but he was sensational. He was, he was amazing. Really, really cool guy. Very knowledgeable. Fun too. Um, and he's recommended where we are right yeah, now. So he sounded. He spoke about food very passionately. And then you said, Jess, is there any other great places? He said, mate, you've, he said, you've got to go down the road to... Uh, Shishu, Shishu Burger? Shizo. Shizo Burger. And it's an Asian twist on burgers and fries and whatnot. And looking at the menu... <laughs> You can see why, look, I don't know if you can see this now, but you've got beef, fish, all with like mad Asian twists on regular stuff. 
So you can like get a crisp. Sorry, you can get a shrimp patty. You can get a tuna patty. Tuna patty. A salmon, salmon. fillet. <laughs> it's very out there. Mm. Are you going to go for a fish? I think I want to go for the prawn patty. See what that's like. Ooh. Ooh. Crispy fried prawns. Like it's got honey, ginger, mustard, and chili mayo. That that sounds, sounds amazing. Sounds banging. It sounds banging as well. <laughs> Said they're really small burgers, so. I don't think I'll be totally wrong. We're we'll to get two, try two different flavours. Maybe the sweet potato fries, he recommended those. None of you have seen already yet, but it's an open kitchen, so you can see the guys working, it's a glass front, like something intimate about looking into the kitchen. It looks really cool. It's really, really cool. It's a total transparency when they let you look inside the kitchen and look at the guys working. It adds another element to it. And another review sat inside. And I want to let me know, guys, if you, do you want to see this type of content? Because I think this could be an absolute cracker. And yes, we're going to try and get some more Donnery on the street. But for me, as a massive foodie, this could be a lot of fun. Um, remember, if you're enjoying this content, give us a massive thumbs up on YouTube, please. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. Like, travelling to Berlin, it's got to be worth a little thumbs up, hasn't it? Please, come on, hit smash that thumbs up button. Give us a like. That was a cracker. I feel like we've actually done a good job there, which is cool. Um, now I'd like to go and finish off with some Donna on the street, maybe have some fun with some locals. I will see what happens, but this has been a really fun trip today. Yesterday, we were very tired. Today, been a lot of fun. Anyway, let's go. Matt just wants a scoot. He, he just, he's <laughs> desperate. He's like, I scooter. Like Let me try that again. Uber back to the hotel sorted. Guys, we just done a review here at the number one rated kebab house in Berlin. And we had a journey here that was nothing short of amazing, to be fair. Frodo amazing. Baggins and Bilbo Baggins didn't travel half the journey we did to get here. Hour and 20 minutes on the scooter. Got lost. Dungeons, dragons, waterfalls. We had to, we had to scale it all. <coughs> Mountains. Calumny got run over by a cyclist. We had a flat tyre, we had all sorts. There was a, a German aggressive exchange. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't mad. It was it wasn't my fault. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we that is our trip to Berlin. Done and dusted. I've absolutely loved being here and I think on behalf of you guys as well, you've enjoyed it as well, haven't you? Nah. Yeah, <laughs> it's been great. Um if you've enjoyed the content, all the reviews you might have seen coming out now, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more of this content coming. And what we just what we showed is that um, nothing's off the table. You know, where do you want to see us go next? Greece, Turkey, Italy, Croatia, Norway, America. Where do you want us to go next? Because where have you been on holiday and you've had some great food? Because coming to places like this, and some of the other places we've done, it's been breathtaking. So refreshing, it's been great fun, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, get in the comments and let us know if you've enjoyed it and what you want to see next. Uh, on that note, thanks for watching. From all of us at Food Review Club, Callum and Jess and myself, thanks for watching. And that was our first trip, minus Aviva. <laughs> and that was our second trip overseas. Thanks everyone. We're licking your lips, checking the dips uh, We're checking out the best of the bunch So you can get your best breakfast, dinner or lunch It's Matt, D and Jess coming with a food review We've been travelling, trying to find the best foods for you Yeah, now that's a review